मडस्लिंग Uh, you know rumors speculation invective uh, you know uh, aspersions being cast on people is par for the course and it has been going on for years but it's only because it's arvind kejriwal who has demonstrated his ability to harness populism in his favor that both the bjp and the congress are so nervous about this and angry about it chef 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 the I'm most chef the most important part is democracy is a serious business governance is still more a serious business mm. and over here the kind of response that we are seeing from arvind kejriwal's government is totally a lackadaisical one in okay. the sense that well yes we have pretty bad also well yeah. yes we have a government in delhi which has been given to you perform create a model show it yeah. what corruption free governance is if according to you Bridges, we have quick, this quick, quick performance quick show, go to why this hardness yeah. Yeah. yeah you see uh, mr kejriwal announced a anti corruption helpline right and i'm told that only three calls uh, <laughs> refer to corruption corrupt activities but besides he still goes to the press and makes a statement that corruption has come down and this is not at all uh, you know which a uh, uh, fact which is which the public will state or which with the, which the public will confirm in fact corruption is very rampant in delhi and he has totally completely failed and this is all an attempt to only just shirk issues to take the issue away okay. from the real okay. one okay preeti preeti menon uh, and i want to apologize to our viewers for that bad connection that we have with mumbai but preeti menon's back with us uh, preeti what about the question i mean you know stepping stepping aside from the technicalities about how this list okay that uh, Okay, we've lost that line with uh, Preeti uh, once again. Okay, I'm going to get closing comments from our from our viewers. Pity that we couldn't get uh, Preeti to respond to that very direct question from both our uh, both our panelists right now. But uh, Samit, closing comments on this. This is something that you're going to see much more of. Arvind Kejriwal has basically announced that this is a list that we've put out now. But there are going to be more names. They're going to pull out documents. You know, there's it, it's going to be it, it's going to get dirtier and much more narrow and focused now. See now we are used to this game enough of documents had been pulled in the past also and nothing has come of it as yet secondly it is not the list which has been created prepared by god and if at all we consider that this is a list prepared by god then i would say god must have gone crazy and we are not going to do anything about this we are going to sit back and we are going to talk of serious business and governance yeah. this kind of gimmickry and populism is not going to take india anywhere okay 
Brijesh, final comments. Yeah, I'd only like to say that, you know, in three instances, three specific instances in uh, Kejriwal's party. First was Kumar Vishwas, where he was caught taking money. Shazia Almi, where she, she was caught taking money on camera. And the third, Somnath Bharti. No, that was... He, uh, he, no, no, please. Yeah. He, he has failed to take any action. He should really look into his own... Uh, door in, in his own house, set his own house in order, and the Congress Party has given him, you know, complete support to do something which is positive right. and in favor of Delhiites and the citizens of Delhi. Let him really focus on those issues. The question now is: Is there a sense of hypocrisy in what uh, what Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has done with this list? Is it character assassination, or is he just playing the game the way the rules have always been written around election time, where anything really goes? But was it character assassination, or was it simply prudent politics? That's something we leave you, the viewer, to decide. But it's a story that isn't over. We will continue to track it. Thanks for watching Newsnight.